Hi, my name is Thomas Rowland and I am a fine artist photographer. In the past, I used to use charcoal rather than using the camera because back when I was first starting out as an artist, I found that the material I could connect with most with my work personally was charcoal. I used to use it to sketch out portraiture and figures um, but I didn't like sketching the face. I used to love the mystery behind a faceless character and how they could blend into an environment and look almost ominous. But in recent days, I have just found that my passion for photography has come back, especially after COVID. I sort of lost my passion for drawing and kind of fell back into my love for photography and the aspect of photography that I fell back in love with so much was capturing light. Now with lighting I absolutely adore painting with light. Painting with light I learnt it a few years ago and ever since it's always been one of my favourite ways of using a camera. The way that you can make a camera's light exposure extend to the point where it captures the trail of light is so fascinating to me and the fact the way a laser picks that up is even better. Mainly I work in the dark of course because lasers and light sources are just beyond amazing in the night. Even the stars look better and the main focus that I love is having a figure standing in a dark room and then capture the body with a laser but then blow it up with a white bulb say but also just experimenting with lighting in general like I love the light work in vi music videos I think that strobe lights and other types of lasers like the mix of variety is just endless and just the sheer amount of versatility there is in the field of lighting with photography is just something that I love and I'm fascinated with and I think I always will be and in the future I think I'm probably going to be doing this for the rest of my life now and I just can't wait to see how far I can push a light source and just how much emotion you can capture with a bright light or just really making a sinister scene but that's basically everything that I've done and I hope that this video has enlightened you on where I am going and what I'm really interested in in the art field.